Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Um, I picked something up that I thought was going to taste really good, and it is called uh, the Oak Aged Beer Innis and Gun. And one thing that's really interesting about this beer is this is the first time that they've uh, they've come up with a rum cask. So just like um, the Ola Dub beer, um, if you want to check it out in my review, it's uh, spelled O-L-A, next word, D-U-B-H. Um, those were stored in whiskey casks um, that were, and the whiskey casks were aged for, for some odd uh, amount of years. And um, there we go, carefully matured for 57 days. So this was probably in uh, rum casks um, for 57 days. Uh, Ola Dub, however, uh, is in whiskey casks. So this is going to be this is going to be different. Um, I really like how uh, when they come up with stuff like that. Uh, this is a Scottish um, beer. It says since discovering the secrets and joys of maturing beer in oak barrels, we have been on a journey of further discovery, which has led us to some pretty incredible taste experiences. Rum cask is one of our firm favorites. A slow maturing, mat wow, I'm sorry, a slow maturation using um, American oak and rum infused oak has imparted this beer with a delicious warming character that is bursting with fruit and lively spiciness. Um, it's a 7.4% ABV, ABV beer and it's a 330 milliliter bottle. Um, uh, you know, forgive me, I, I haven't slept for like 48, uh, 60 hours because of my crazy shifts, uh, so I'm not drunk, I swear. <laughs> uh, this is uh, the cap, which is pretty cool, yes, and gun, and uh, I'm going to be using a Pilsner glass. I had a smaller Pilsner glass, and I broke it the other day. Got to go pick up another one. All right, so here goes the pop. Ooh, it smells so good. Wow. You still, uh, the aroma from, you know, the blonde Innocent Gun and the uh, the original Innocent Gun is still in there. All right, people. Cheers. So right, right away we got half a finger head. Um, another very woody colored uh, mahogany type beer. Um, according to the bubbles inside, it, it appears to be um, nicely carbonated. Ah, oh, it's strange because that that regular innocent gun aroma that you get is kind of infused with like a, a rum uh, aroma, which in the ending kind of creates this caramelized effect. Smells very good. Cheers, people. It's very bitter, um, just like your average innocent gun. I don't really taste the rum too much. If anything, the rum is like adding to the texture. And you kind of get like on the back of your tongue, like a little bit of a, a rum taste. It is gosh darn good. Oh, not bad at all. And just for all those people who want to know how much it costs, uh, <clears throat> it's $3.25 Canadian. Look how thick that is. Not very much lace. The lace is very heavy. One thing I love about Pilsner glasses is that I can do this. Huh. Ah. It's fantastic beer. Uh, it's definitely uh, a lot less bitter than the other than the other uh, Innocent Guns, but it does still have that that little. Uh, bitterness taste that everybody's so fond of.
All right, it's that, if you hold it in your mouth and squish it around, you even still kind of get that caramelized taste. <laughs> uh, I don't really pick up on the spices that it's talking about, though. Like, when I think spices, I'm thinking of, like, Great Lakes Brewery's Winter Ale. That's spices. Huh. Well, everybody, cheers. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Um, what am I going to rate this? Overall, it, it is rather fantastic. Um, I can't, I can't be high me on the score because they really do have something here. It's definitely better than their other, their other ones. Um, <laughs> if I could even say that another one of theirs is really, really, really good, it would be the 2010 Canada Day Special, something like that. That was really good too. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of seven. See? Midnight Ship Brain. Haven't slept. I'm going to give it a 3.7 out of 5. <laughs> you see how that worked out? Whew! This will make me feel better. Alright, everybody. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.